well, this is going to be a video with a difference. It'll probably turn out to be the only video uh, by J4MB about the subject of hair. Um, Elizabeth Hobson, known to uh, Elizabeth Hobson, our communications director, known to her fans in uh, Australia as Hottie Hobson, and probably everywhere else on the planet as well, um, has has beautiful, beautiful hair, of course. Um, and uh, some people have even sort of commented on my hair. I'm uh, I'm 62, and people have wondered um, in comment streams and elsewhere as to whether I colour my hair or even if it, even if uh, this is a, is a wig. Uh, the answer to both questions is no. My, my father had uh, dark hair well into his 60s and um, all I've got really with grey hair is, um, is, is sideburns. Um, not long ago I shaved off my uh, beard because I, you know, I came to realise that the Jeremy Corbyn look wasn't really for me um, and pe people have been kind enough to say I look, I look a bit younger. Anyway, um, in the UK, as in, I guess, many countries, um, we're in lockdown, um, so that means I can't get to, to, to my barber. And um, my increasingly long and unkempt hair is, is driving me nuts, and I've decided to do something about it. I've, I've just taken delivery of a hair clipper, specifically the Hattica Rechargeable Hair Clipper, which is useful, nose trimmer, I think they mean nose hair trimmer, hopefully. Uh, I don't think I'll be using that. And body shaver. Again, I don't think so. I won't be using that. So it's all charged up. Oh, the um, it comes with a with an instruction booklet, which like always with uh, instruction booklets for, uh, for products made in the Far East, um, has been translated by an old, uh, an old Bulgarian peasant woman. Um, who uh, is blind and uh, understands very little of both Chinese and English. But the booklet does have lots of hazard warnings next to the incomprehensible English. So I shall pro probably be taking my life into, into my hands, but uh, never mind, it's got, it's got to be done. And this may prove to be uh, my last video. Well, my last anything, to be honest. Um, it's, uh, this video is also the first time, let me move that out of the way. This video is also the first time um, that I've recorded a, um, a video for J4MB uh, from my home. Normally I'd do it from our headquarters in London, but I, 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 you know, uh, I, I can't go there at the moment, so I thought I'd, I'd uh, record it from home. Um, so this is the lounge in my penthouse suite in uh, Bedford Tower, in the centre of Bedford. Um, it's the, it, on this side of the building, you get a view of uh, some nice scenery. So uh, that, that is Bedford Mountain, as everyone knows, the tallest mountain in Europe. Um, this is Bedford Bay. Um, and um, let's just say, I think it's such a wonderful view from my lounge that uh, I can tell you the, the penthouse suites on the other side of the building, which look over, which look over the town of Bedford, unfortunately, um, sell for half the price. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, okay, well, I'll start at, um, I've set it up for uh, 15 millimeters um, and see how that goes. So wish me luck and um, if I don't return it's been it's been great knowing you. Well that was an interesting experience to put it mildly. Um, it turns out it's surprisingly difficult to trim your own hair which I guess explains why men with already short hair go to barbers. Um, but I got there in the end um, I started with 15 millimetre length and um, that resulted in a, in a look that I can only describe as something that would make um, that would make women scream and children weep. So that, that, uh, that probably wasn't a great look. So I went for a shorter one and probably, probably made it a little bit too short. So I now look like, um, um, well, I don't know what I look like, um, or what I do, which is why I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to take my fedora off. Anyway, so um, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to be thrilled by my new hair probably next Saturday. Elizabeth and I have um, an interview on the Friday. Um, as someone very dear to the heart of the men's rights movement. So we're looking forward to that. And the day after that, we're recording um, another Genders of Matters episode with a professor. 
um, who's again well known to many in, in the men's rights movement. Um, he runs, uh, his name is, well I won't say, I won't say, I'll, I'll leave that until, uh, until I see you next. So um, goodbye for now. <laughs>